Assalamu alaikum everyone. Today we are here to commemorate the martyrdom of Imam Hassan al Askari alayhi He is our 11th Imam and the father of our 12th Imam, Imam Mahdi. He was born in Medina but had to leave for Samara with his father at a very young age. His title is Askari, the pure one. And an Askari. Let's listen to a story to find out why he was called an Askari by beginning with Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Blessed names. Why was he named Al Askari? by Kisa Kids Publications. It was a hot day in the desert of Medina. The commander looked at the caravan and waited until the last few people had mounted onto their camels. He then rode his horse around the caravan to make sure all the luggage was packed and safely fastened to the camels. People from all the surrounding villages gathered around to say their last tearful goodbyes. Imam Ali al-Hadi bid farewell to the people. They began to cry and wail as the Imam salam and his family were leaving the city of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. You see, the evil caliph had ordered the 10th Imam along with his family to move to the city of Samara in Iraq. He had purposely chosen this area for the Imam so that he could keep a close eye on him. He was worried that he might lose his power if the Imam salam, had too many followers so he wanted to keep him away from his followers and companions. After a very long and tiring journey, they finally reached Samara safely. The Imam salam got down from his camel and walked towards his new home with his young son, Imam Hassan al-Askari salam. The home that was chosen for the Imam salam, and his family was located in an army base. The area was called Askar, which means army, and was surrounded by many homes of soldiers and commanders. Imam Hassan al-Askari grew up in the area of Askar. Life at the army base was difficult especially for children. Oftentimes, the loud noises of the horses and soldiers would startle them and keep them awake all night. His house was like a prison. From behind the bars attached to his windows, all he could see were large soldiers with scary weapons. The children couldn't even play outside because it was too dangerous. When Imam Hassan al-Askari became a young man, the evil caliph murdered his father, Imam Ali al-Hadi Now Imam al-Askari had begun his period of imamat as the 11th Imam. Mu'tamid, the evil caliph, felt very scared because of Imam Hassan al-Askari strong faith and many followers. The Caliph would even have nightmares about the Imam taking over his kingdom, which increased his fear even more. No matter how many soldiers he sent over to watch Imam al-Askari they would all become his faithful followers. The evil caliph could not take it anymore. He wanted the Imam salam to be imprisoned at once. So on a very still night, 
he ordered his soldiers to invade the Imam's home and put him in a very dark and frightening jail cell. Still, Imam Hassan al-Askari spent his days and nights worshipping Allah. The evil caliph often sent the most heartless guards to the prison to bother and torture the Imam salam. However, as time passed, the guards would begin feeling guilty about how they were treating the kind and gentle Imam salam. One day, the Caliph called two guards to his palace. He asked them how the Imam salam, was doing in prison. The two guards were very ashamed of what they were doing to the Imam salam, and said, What can we say about a man who fasts during the day and prays all night? He spends his entire day and night worshipping Allah. When we hear him talking to Allah, tears come to our eyes and we are unable to harm him. Anger, the caliph ordered the new soldiers to go torture and bother the Imam However, anyone who would go to the prison and try to bother the Imam would also fall in love with him and his akhlaq and not be able to hurt him. The caliph could not take it anymore, so he put the Imam under house arrest in Askar. Imam Hassan al-Askari spent most of his years in the area of Askar, which is why he is called al-Askari, the soldier. Even though he was surrounded by soldiers, he was the true soldier, since he only obeyed Allah. Did you know that the Prophet and Imams والسلام, had told their companions about this title years even before Imam Hassan al Askari was born or moved to Askar? This is because the title was given to him by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Even though Imam al Askari spent most of his life in prison or under house arrest, his followers and companions continued to grow over the years. Finally, the Caliph had had enough. He realized that too many people loved the Imam salam, so he decided to kill him. The Caliph ordered someone to poison our beloved Imam al-Askari salam, making him a shaheed at the young age of 28 years. That's the time when his five-year-old son, Imam al-Mahdi, Ajal Allah Ta'ala Farajah Sharif, started practicing Imam. He is our twelfth and final Imam. May Allah send his peace and blessings upon our beloved Imam Hassan al-Askari salam, who was a true soldier of Allah. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. The end. Thank you so much for listening. Until next time, inshallah. Ma'a salama. Our 11th Imam began his Imam at the age of 22. After his father, Imam al Hadi alayhi salam, was martyred and his period of imamat was only six years. Imam Hassan al-Askari was under house arrest most of his life. The evil king would always have his men guarding our imam's door so that he could keep a close eye on him. He was aware that the last imam savior of mankind, the one who would spread justice around the globe, would be none other than the son of Imam Hassan al-Askari alayhi salam. That's right, Hannah. And he didn't want the special birth to take place. 
So whoever would enter or leave the house of our Imam had to go through strict security checks. He got married to Sayyidina Naja Sallallahu Alaihi who gave birth to our final Imam, Imam Mahdi Ajalallah. Unfortunately, when Imam Al Mahdi Ajalallah was only five years old, the evil king poisoned Imam Hassan al Askari. He was buried in the same house in Samara where his father had been buried. Let's listen to a Latmiya to give condolence to the Imam of our time, Imam al Mahdi Ajalallah Farajo Sharif. Hassan Azaki, Hassan Askari, the father of Imam Mahdi. Hassan Azaki, Hassan Askari, the father of Imam Mahdi. Imam Askari had a difficult life. He was always He grew up at the army base. The time was tough, but he was brave. Hassan Azaki, Hassan Askari, the father of Imam Mahdi. Five years old was Imam Mahdi. He went through pain and agony. The enemies didn't let his father rest. They poisoned him, which caused his death. Hassan Azaki, Hassan Askari, the father of Imam Mahdi. Oh, Imam, accept us. Yes, we are your tiny little helpers. We pray that you would come soon to spread peace over the hidden moon. Hassan Azaki, Hassan Askari, the father of Imam Mahdi. Hassan Azaki. Hassan Askari, the father of Imam Mahdi.